Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing three different watercolour patterns that are perfect for beginners and are great if you're looking for a simple mindful exercise just to get your supplies out and to get yourself painting. So I'm going to run you through the supplies I'm using today but you can use whatever you fancy for this. Um, so I've got some paper, uh, this is cotton paper, it's recycled paper by Artway and it's called Indigo. Um, I've used it for a couple of projects, I quite like it. It takes the watercolour really nicely um, but it is really kind of textured, it's got lots of kind of lumps and bits in it uh, which you might like or you might not so so yeah I thought I'd work on this today. I bought it in A2 size sheets and then I've ripped it down to, this is about A4, I'm just going to work in the centre. So I've picked some paints today in a kind of slightly springy coloured palette but it's kind of still muted colours because that's what I like. So I've got Payne's Grey, I've got Olive Green, I've got Yellow Ochre, I've got Buff Titanium and I've got uh, Permanent Alizarin, can never say it, I've got Permanent Alizarin Crimson. So other than that I've got my water, I've got a paper towel, um, and I've got a couple of brushes. I'm using a pointed round brush, this happens to be a size 8, and then I've got a really small fine brush for details and uh, there'll be a link in the description to all of these things. So what I thought I'd do today are scatter patterns. So those are patterns where you've got lots of different elements um, but they they are kind of directionless, so all the patterns are facing in lots of different directions. So your like elements, whatever they are, you've got lots of one thing and you kind of throw them at a table and they land um, facing all sorts of different ways. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start with something fairly simple and I thought I'd do some stars, just have fun mixing and blending my colours. So I can draw my outline of my shape like this and then use the brush to colour in. So there's one there and I want to get some kind of differentiation and variation into them. So if I can just dot in some areas of darker colour. As I go um, it's kind of useful to be able to turn your paper a little bit just so that your your pattern looks more random and more scattered because even though I can draw five pointed stars um, fairly regularly there will always be a bias to the to them so they'll always be slightly off if I'm doing them freehand like this and so if I turn my paper every so often they'll just look a little more random. Now I can draw another one and I can draw it right next to one that I've drawn before and allow the two colours to merge. So I can draw one here in the yellow and I can, I'm going to allow this like corner to touch eventually, I haven't quite got there yet. So I'm going to fill it all in and then just touch those corners together and allow them to bleed like that. So let's do another one and again I've turned my paper So it's just one, two, three, four, five lines like that and then bring the colour across and you can add in some darker areas if you want. So this method of drawing the five pointed star, one, two, three, four, five works really well if you just want a star of one colour, like this. But actually I want some of my stars to be two colours. I can just change my colour and add a little bit into the other side. So I'll just add a little bit of the blue in there. But you can also do half a star in one colour and half in another. So you've got to 
think a little carefully about this. So I can do one, two lines that way, line that way, fill in this bit of it, and then switch to another colour for the rest of the lines. But yeah, it does take a little bit of thinking about to try and get the star looking right. So I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep painting stars, changing my colours, um, occasionally joining two or three stars together, and I'm going to keep turning my page as I go to avoid the stars kind of looking samey. So there we go, I could spend quite a lot of happy time just drawing little stars and I think this would make a great um, artwork for a kid's bedroom or something like that, just to put it in a simple frame and it would look great. Um, if you're good at handwriting, which I'm not, you could leave a little space and then like write a little quote or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, I quite enjoy just finding some simple shapes and repeating them over and over again and allowing the colours to mix and bleed, create new third colours and just see what happens. So let's move on to something slightly more intricate but not hugely, still uh, a really simple pattern and again using this scattered design where we're kind of repeating same shapes over and over again. So for my second design I'm going to do leaves and I'm going to uh, do them in two halves. So I'm going to start with uh, drawing a stem for the centre of the leaf, like this. I'm just using the tip of my brush for that. And then I can use the brush, press it down and get one half of the leaf. Now I can change the colour, pick something else from my palette and do the other half of the leaf as well. So pressing my brush down and then lifting it up towards the end. And I've left a little gap uh, down the centre and that'll just kind of give you that impression of there being like a nice vein or something in the centre of the leaf. So I'm going to pick a slightly different colour, turn my page slightly, draw a line for the centre of the leaf. Let's get a bit more colour on there, there's not much going on there. There. Put the point of my brush here, press it down, and then slowly lift it off as I come to the end of the leaf, so it comes to a nice point. And then I can take another colour on the other side, again, press my brush down and lift up. Now I didn't get much pigment on this side of the leaf, so I can just dot a bit more in if I need to. I'm going to turn my page again and I'm going to go in with another different colour. But actually I think I want my leaf to be heading in this direction now so I've got more of that kind of scattered feel. So there's the centre of the leaf. Press my brush down, pull it towards the end and release it. change my colour and paint the other half, again pressing my brush down and coming to join it at the tip. So that's all I'm doing for this one, just repeating those same actions over and again. It's a really good one for, uh, for thinking about brush control and about getting different size strokes. And what I quite like on this paper as well, I don't know if you can see it, but you get these like rough edges where the um, on the edge of the leaf some places because of the roughness of the paper. So 
So I'm going to keep going with this and filling my page with leaves. So that's my leaf pattern, a little bit more of a grown-up pattern this one. I decided not to use the crimson on this because I quite liked the way that the, the muted blues, greens, yellows palette was working and I think it was looking quite sophisticated so I didn't want to kind of bring in any of the kind of pinky tones to uh, kind of complicate that anymore. So the patterns that we've done so far have been really simple, just been one element repeated over and over, but you can do this with multiple elements. You can design like a set of different flowers and leaves and then repeat them over and over again. Um, and that's what I'm going to do now, but you could do the same with like seashells or different types of fish or yeah, all sorts of different things you could do. Um, but I'm going to do some really simple flowers. I'm going to make little clusters of flowers and then I'm going to put some leaves in as well. So the flowers are going to be really simple. I'm just going to use my brush to scribble a really messy circle in a colour. So I'm going to use this pink. So yeah, so just really messy, really scribbly. Leaving a little bit of white in the centre. Like that. Odd numbers work really well, so a cluster of three works well, uh, five will work, you could do one on its own. You could do the occasional kind of two in there as well, as long as you've kind of got um, a lot of these kind of clusters with different odd numbers in, they'll work really well. Let's see, let's have these two touching. And one here, just like that. Let's make this a cluster of five. There we go. And then I'm going to keep moving around the page and adding these little clusters. Then I'm going to come back to them and I'm going to add some leaves. So now I've got a page full of flowers, I can start adding elements kind of in between them. So I'm going to start by um, each uh, cluster adding some leaves to it around the outside. Um, so I'm going to do that in one colour and then I'm going to add a different type of leaf in a third colour. So I'm going to go in with some of the olive green for this one. But I think I might mix it up a little bit and just add in maybe a little bit of the uh, of the blue as well. And I'm going to do some just some little leaves for these. Just a single stroke of the brush. So I can use the point of my brush to draw a thin line, press down and then lift up. Let's neaten that one up a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to do that in a few places. Let's do some here. And I can dab a little bit of the Payne's Grey into some of these, just to change some of the colours in a few places. So let's do some more coming out from this way. In fact, I might just do one leaf there. I'm 
maybe a couple here. Like that. So I'm going to add my little set of leaves to every cluster of flowers now. my uh, pattern is looking like now. So I've got this cluster of flowers and I've drawn some leaves around them. And now I'm going to put some other kind of types of leaves in. And I want some leaves that are a little bit different in shape and structure just to kind of uh, break it up a little bit and make it look a little bit different. So I'm going to put some long stems in with um, some rounder leaves on. So again I want these to go in any different way and I'm using the buff titanium colour. Um, it's quite nice and soft and gentle and I'm just doing a long stem and then I'm going to press my brush down, alternating left and right. Last one there. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to repeat that several times around the drawing. All of these little sprigs going in different directions. Finally on here I want some little yellow flowers, so I'm just going to put some little messy dots in a few places. Again, threes and fives work really well. So final little touch for the pattern, I'm just going to add a little blob of yellow to the centre of these flowers. do is just add a little line down the centre of these leaves. So here are my three finished patterns. I'm really liking the stars. I think there's something really uh, lovely about taking a really simple shape and just repeating it over and over. Um, and then the leaves and then this one here with the little floral pattern. And there was nothing too complicated in painting any of these things, but by kind of changing things ever so slightly and putting things at slightly different directions and different angles and using slightly different tones of colours in them, you get a really kind of interesting result. I'd love to see if you give any of these a go. If you post your results on Instagram, uh, tag me at Lou Rachel Davis. I do always love seeing the work that you make and it's always great fun to see what people do with these tutorials. So if you liked the video then please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more from me then do subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you again in another video very very soon. Bye bye!